Talking to Richie and seeing his felt mittens made me think of another winter story that I love, The Mitten by Dan Brett. I thought since I haven't used our felt board in a while, I would use our felt board to tell you the story of The Mitten. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Nicky who asked his grandmother to make him snow white mittens. She made the mittens for him. She told him to be very, very careful with the mittens when he was playing in the snow because if he dropped one of the snow white mittens in the snow, he wouldn't be able to find it again. She told him, when you return from playing outside in the snow, first I will check to see that you are safe and sound. Then I will check to see if you still have your new snow white mittens. And he promised he would, and he ran out to play. And it wasn't long before he dropped one of his mittens, and he ran off without it, and his snow white mitten was left behind in the snow. Soon after that, an animal saw it. It was a mole. He thought the mitten looked soft and warm and it was cold outside in the snow, so he burrowed into the mitten. It wasn't long after that that a second animal saw the mitten. It was a rabbit. He thought the mitten looked soft and warm and it was cold outside in the snow, so he hopped into the mitten. The mole didn't think there was room for the rabbit, but he saw that the rabbit had really big feet so he didn't say anything to him about it. And it wasn't long after that, that a third animal saw the mitten, a hedgehog. He thought the mitten looked soft and warm and it was cold outside in the snow, so he crawled into the mitten. The mole and the rabbit didn't think there was room for the hedgehog, but they saw his quills, so they let him in and they didn't say anything. Soon after that, a fourth animal saw the mitten. It was an owl. He thought the mitten looked soft and warm and it was cold outside in the snow, so he flew into the mitten. The mole and the rabbit and the hedgehog didn't think there was room for the owl, but they saw his sharp glinty talons and they decided to let him in and not to say anything. And it wasn't long after that that a fifth animal saw the mitten. It was a badger. He thought the mitten looked soft and warm and it was cold outside in the snow. So he crawled into the mitten and the mole and the rabbit and the hedgehog and the owl, they didn't think there was room for the badger, but they saw his big claws, his big claws on his paws and they didn't say anything. But soon after that, a sixth animal saw the mitten. It was a fox. He thought the mitten looked soft and warm and it was cold outside in the snow. So he pushed his way into the mitten and the mole and the rabbit and the hedgehog and the owl and the badger didn't think there was room for the fox, but they saw his sharp teeth and they let him in and they didn't say anything. And it wasn't long after that, that, well, what number are we on? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. A seventh animal saw the mitten and he thought it looked soft and warm and it was cold outside in the snow and he wanted to crawl in, but he was a bear. The other animals didn't think he was going to fit, but they weren't gonna argue with a bear and he managed to squeeze himself in and the mitten had gotten much bigger and had swelled to fit all of the animals, but grandmother was very good at making mittens. She was a very good knitter and she had knit a strong mitten and it held it didn't tear apart with all those animals in it, with eight animals in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there are only seven animals. I forgot. One more animal saw the mitten. It was a mouse. He thought the mitten looked soft and warm and it was cold outside in the snow. So he crawled into the mitten and he found room right on the bear's nose. But when the mouse was sitting on the bear's nose, his whiskers, they tickled the bear's nose. And the bear, he started to, ah, 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 choo! And when he sneezed, it blew all the animals out of the mitten and sent the mitten flying up into the air. And who should see it but Nicky on his way home, searching in the snow for a snow white mitten. And he grabbed it. And he went home with both of his new snow white mittens. And when grandma saw him, she saw that he was safe and sound and that he had both of his new snow white mittens. 
the end. I bet Grandma had some questions about why one mitten was stretched out and so much bigger than the other. But I don't think Nikki would be able to tell her. He didn't know that the mitten was home to eight animals in the snow.